you know what akondani this is very serious mtabiri the prophet is in in there maandamano inaendelea pia yako kotini hili janga limepata kila mama huu tabiri wa nani wana bi pastor Ezekiel alitabiri na umetimia again and guess what today is a tuesday yesterday we had labor day and today you remember what baba said <laughs> like let me just make a little joke about it so yesterday thank you very much for staying tuned at bob shakwila show we are here again and guess what today is a tuesday yesterday we had labor day and today you remember what baba said <laughs> like let me just make a little joke about it so Yesterday ukiangalia pale Citizen TV it was a national holiday but only 14000 people were watching that was by morning but today imekuwa maajabu sana just baba's holiday as they put it Raila Odinga's holiday imekuwa watch na watu thousands maelfu na maelfu hundreds of thousands kwa even other channels apart from Citizen TV and do you know what this means that it's a national national crisis yes tunanyamaza watu wanajaribu kubishana nguvu ruto rao ruto rao but it's a national crisis dangerous even to that of shakahola but again we are here we need people are hungry hawana chakula hawana chakula kwa meza na walihaidiwa you know this regime promised a lot of things that's why people are in the streets but do you know what there is a prophecy ambayo ilitabiriwa watu wamekuwa kusema he prophecy ya pastor Ezekiel alipokuwa kitabiri this happen i think it was before elections alitabiri akasema tutachagua kiongozi ila wakati chini ya miezi sita mambo makuu yatafanyika and times and season have said it all hata ye aliyetabiri saa hizi ako ndani you know what ako ndani this is very serious mtabiri the prophet is in in there maandamano inaendelea pia yako kotini hili janga limepata kila mtu na siye peke yake hata sisi tumeshikwa we are in a jail of hunger tumeshikwa ningependa leo tuangalie tujaribu kurudilia hii utabiri ama huu utabiri wa nani wa nabii pasta Ezekiel alitabiri na umetimia. Umetimia saa hizi watu wanakimbishana. You've seen it staff huko town. Watu wanakimbishana na askari azimio leaders wamepeleka pale nini zao wapi ku, kwa rais. Matakwa yao wametimuliwa mbio sana. <laughs> Tazameni huu nabii wa pasta Ezekiel. Kama huku tazama tazama, kama ulitazama tazama tena kwa makini usikie alichotabiri live and raw at bob shakwila show kuna ujumbe wa Mungu na ningetamani kushare na wananchi na viongozi wa nchi sababu inawahusu hivi ndivyo Mungu anavyosema kuna wale wanaitwa the electorate wale ambao wanapiga kura kuna kikundi fulani ama jamii fulani God gave me the picture of a community a community jamii fulani wamama wale wa kongwe wanatafuta msaada wasaidiwe politically but the leaders cannot reach where they are and cannot help them because they don't know how to reach there but these elders they are waiting for the leaders to help them but leaders do not know how to reach where those elders are they are old mothers Number two, the young people, the twenties and above, they are speaking a language that politicians don't understand. And politicians, they are striving to understand. They are working hard to understand their language, but they don't understand. 
and still both both groups the two groups the older generation and the young generation they are going to vote because it is their duty to vote but nobody understands what they want they will vote anyway but you know the repercussion of that eruption and rebellion they will vote thinking that you've understood what they want and you want to do what they want because you've not understood what they want they will give you their votes yes they will vote for you thinking that you've understood what they want and it is true you've not understood what they want and once they vote you in and you don't do what they want they will come for you so whoever is voted into power must realize this they will vote peacefully yes they will vote peacefully these people they will vote peacefully but after voting and you don't know what they want they will come for you you the leader it happened in uh, Algeria Tunisia Iraq when people rebel against the government so anybody who is campaigning campaign but remember problem is coming after election that is when problems will begin now they are looking for the solution who the people they are telling you something and you don't understand it so you are selling to them your policies they are not for your policies they have a policy they have what they want they know you better go and listen to them because if you don't listen to those people the electorate those people who are voting for you they will vote peacefully i tell you these people are tired of fighting against each other they are very tired they won't fight even if you incite them they won't fight they have become one community they are no longer 40 something tribes they are one tribe called kenya because when the economy is bad it is bad to all of us am i right when there is no dollar there is no dollar to every business person when the county government is dealing ruthlessly with the business community it is to everybody except somebody who oh, the one in power so they will vote i advise you politicians these people will vote for you don't be happy because you've won the election problems will begin after election they will come for you who oh, whoever will win the election problems will begin immediately after election you will find it tough ruling them i want to give you an example when you go to central now they say they don't understand their president am i right they they tell him no we don't understand you if people who come from the region where the president come from don't understand the sitting president will they understand you a people from the region where the president comes from the sitting president even if president decides to do something good whether he gives them title deed he gives them a, they give us title deed but we don't understand you i ask you if they vote you in will they understand you 
you give them food they say we eat but you must listen to us what then someone comes whether it is azimio or uh, uh, uda you come they vote you in remember they are looking for something they are not looking for someone and you give them good words and they vote you in and you don't give them what they want and the, what they want you've not understood they will come for you so that is about our general election it will be very peaceful very peaceful but where whoever gets the mantle will have problems solution as if yes si mimi nimepeana ujumbe wangu eh hiyo ndio nilipewa the rest belongs to them now 